Hello everyone, my name is Royce Electron. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. And we're finally in the last episode of Assassin's Creed. Here we are in the Villa Auditore, Monteriggioni, about to discuss about the codex pages that I've completed. And I'm wearing a special code right now. The symbol is that I am also an assassin. Haha. <laughs> yes. And also, I just need to <laughs> tell you something because I've discovered something important. I was buying all of the weapons here, and I just noticed one thing. There's a sword of Altair that I didn't get because I don't have enough money. There are things that I can't buy because I don't have enough money. I need to earn more money to complete all of them. I have bought, uh, I have spent all of my money before I even noticed that because I bought all the armor so I didn't have enough money and I just spent it all anyway so I have 600 now. I can't even probably fast travel, I don't know. It's like 400 to one place, right? Especially to Venice. Okay, here we are with all the assassins. With all the assassins, where is Leonardo da Vinci? He's not an assassin, he's just an inventor. Your codex pages, Nipote. Go and see Ooh. Leonardo and have him make sense of their contents. Ooh. Only then can we begin. We are going to Leonardo. Have completed all of the glyphs in the last episode and also the statuettes. And now we are going to complete the story. And also I found out that you get like a weapon if you complete all of the like uh uh a part of the feathers. I don't know how many. I forgot already. Like 50 or 70 or something like that. I don't know. If you complete uh, uh, that much feathers, you get like a weapon from Petruccio. Supposedly, I think. So, where do we go to see Leonardo? To Venice? I think we go to Venice, right? We're gonna walk to where I remember walking. We went over here to the bridge. We went right, left, I mean. We went left. We just went straight over here. They walked fast over here. My memory is kind of good to this. Uh, yes, we went here. Someone stole from me over here. Somewhere here. Rosa, I mean. Uh, I think Leonardo saw a freaking thing over here or over there. Yes, there is this thick figure. Okay, so we go over here. We cross. And we go right. No, it's not right. It's this. It's not this. It's uh, much later. Was it? Oh no, I'm lost. Oh no, I'm lost. My memory is not good. Oh, it's this. <laughs> this is Leonardo's workshop. What? It's not available. Where's Leonardo? Is he in Venice? Is he in Florence? Is he in Florence? Fucking hell. I just went wasted time trying to find this. Wait, not? No. I can't interact. Where's Leonardo da Vinci? Do you see that? This man is a superhero. In the minimap he has an L. And I didn't even notice. He was here the whole time. I I tried to find him in Mont in Venice in Florence. What the hell are you doing, Leonardo? Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. <laughs> How can I help you? Uh -huh. <laughs> you found yes, another I one. found another. How exciting! Another one. I have found thirty of them. Uh, hmm. Up. Then you just take uh -huh. the inverse. There. There. Oh, yeah, you just go and crouch, crouch, and go left, right, jump, jump. There's a famous pattern like that, but I don't remember what that is. I think it's from Mario. Speak. Ezio. It is time, uncle. It is time, uncle. Let us finish what Let you and my finish. father started all those years you and my father ago. Started Indeed. All those years. Perhaps <laughs> now we can finally make sense of this prophecy. Okay. And put a stop prophecy. to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The vault? The codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. Okay, X marks the spot. Decipher the codex pages to discover the location of the vault. Yeah, it makes a map, right? It makes a map. Interact. Ooh, I, I do something with it. I put the Apple of Eden on it. 
So that looked weird. Why is there like a thing like that there? Interact. Okay. Hey, people, I'm gonna look behind. Uh, eagle vision. Oh no. I'm gonna be rotate, rotate. This is easy. It's easier than the, all the puzzles I've done with the freaking glyphs. And you, yes. Oh, we finally got the information from the apple. It's the world map. It is a map of the entire world. But there are lands shown here that do not exist. Land. Apparently oh yeah, I remember that. In Assassin's I Creed 1. I imagine they've yet to be discovered. Or rediscovered. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Roma. Spaniel. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. Staff what of Eden? Staff? The Codex always spoke staff of two of keys. He has the staff two of Eden. Of Eden needed to open the vault. Mm -hmm. One is the apple. And yes. The other is the staff. The PayPal staff is the second piece of evil. PayPal! For years. PayPal staff! Yes, <laughs> we've sought these answers. And now, at last, we have them. He got so the staff of the Eden. And if he does, if he finds a way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Rome and find yes, the vault. We must go to Rome. the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom to conduct your search. Wait! This is the last Just sequence, right? When you are ready, How you long is this going to be? Two hours? Ten hours? Four hours? Seventy-five thousand hours? What do we do now? X marks the spot. Hey, uncle. Roma beckons at you. Let me know when you are ready. I am ready. Part. Are you sure you want to go to Rome? What? We're just going to Rome now. Wait, is this gonna end and then we're gonna be in Brotherhood? Cape not effective. No. What? Oh, maybe this is just a, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, a cutscene. Roma, fourteen ninety nine. No, in fourteen ninety nine, the things here happened, and the volcano erupted up, and, <laughs> and the magma it flows, it will flow, it flow over here, and then it solidifies to this rock. <laughs> you know that guy in the freaking videos? Infiltrate the Sistine Chapel and assassinate... Ooh, we just do it! We just do it immediately! Where is this? Where do we go? Okay. Go. No! Ezio. Ezio, you're in the final sequence. You're still failing your parkour. Castel Sant'Angelo. Okay. The cape's not effective here, so I can probably unwear them and <laughs> take them off. I mean, that's basically what it means. Basilica de San Pietro. Assassinate this guy. Go up. Double assassinate! Haha! -ha! They didn't even know that I'm coming. They didn't even know. Okay, interact. Nice. Open gates. Can I just run in and double assassinate these guys? Haha, -ha, that was easy. There, where? You don't know where I am because you're dead. You're both idiots. Haha, -ha, this guy didn't even know that I was over here. I didn't even know that, I, that he was here. And I even killed him. Interact, open sesame. Okay, okay, don't fall down now, Ezio. Don't fall down now. Okay. Many guards. Many guards that I need to kill. Come here, all you idiots. Nice. Now we run towards this guy. You shoot me an arrow? It's like freaking... It's like the, <laughs> the Assassin's Creed uh, Revelations trailer. He got shot in the freaking... <laughs> in the shoulder and he go went like that and then he removed it and then he looked away and then you, you you know what happens next probably if you watch the the trailer okay assassino assassino let's run oh we're gonna go and do a horsey they're gonna chase us how do they chase us on foot 
Aha! Parkour! That's what you do if you can't escape guards. Parkour. Haha! -ha. I ran away from you, you idiots! Haha! -ha. Let's go. Oh no, I'm gonna fall down. I'm Damn actually it. gonna fall down. Eccolo, get him! Close the gates! I'm gonna go and not... I'm gonna make it. What do you mean? I could have slid under there. I could have done a freaking agent 007, double O. <laughs> Come on, I'm kissing you on the cheek. Now, we go up. No more reinforcements. No more guards to bother me when I'm climbing. Can go and do this peacefully. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the last sequence. We can do this as quietly as possible. <laughs> You're trying to block me? What? What were you doing? You guys are tr trying to block me? <laughs> you were trying to block me? Me and my path? Me and my broken heart? Let's go up. Can't even go up. Okay, now you can. Is that the Templar symbol? No, that's not the Templar symbol. The Templar symbol is the square. No, no, it's not the square, it's the cross. Haha, there, <laughs> there he is. Yes, there I am. There, as a, there I was, stunning. Assassinate this guy. Okay, there's another one over here. Another four. Assassinate this guy. They won't see me because they're dumb, stupid idiots. Hey, we're three guards over here. Freaking hell. Why did you not double assassinate? That was a double assassinate right there, Ezio. That was a double assassinate right there. <laughs> hey, let's go up again. Wow, there's a guard here. Assassinate him, pull him down. Pull him down, double assassinate, wow. Assassinate, double assassinate. No, single assassinate. You're single, you don't have a girlfriend, you don't have a wife. No one wants you. Eccolo! Eccolo! That hurts! Oh my god! No! Get away! Do this again. Run away! Act like we're running away! And then we kill all of them. We kill all of them! We kill all of them! That's at least. Goodbye! You know, that's why my favorite weapon is the Hidden Blade. You realize now, huh, game? Tell me my favorite weapon is the Hidden Blade. Obviously, what else would be my favorite weapon? One shot kill when you counter? It's like Altair. I mean, remain undetected. Ooh. Oh, there are scholars moving. Okay. They're probably not scholars. But I'm gonna call them scholars. Okay. We kill this guy right here. Okay, stay silent. Interact. Nice! The other guy I didn't have to kill. Oof. There's a lot more of them here. I want no La Ju! There! There! Shame! Where do you think he is? What do you mean? If you value life. It's because I stole from them. Oh my god, father of this! Madame, Madalia, Lord! Dalia Stavunia! This is not a good idea! Ah! I knew it! I knew I was gonna fail, so I just attacked him. It's because I stole. I shouldn't. There shouldn't be like the same button for stealing and fast walk. 
Oh, he's freaking walking backwards. Why is he walking backwards? Okay, the other guard's still alive. Okay, now we use this. Nice! Woohoo! Haha! I did it! That was the use of the po poison things. I'm smart. I just remembered things. Credo in unum deum patrem omnipotentem. Kill Rodrigo Borgia. Factorem Celi. He's right there. Visibilium omnipotentem. Hey! Can you see me? Hey! I'm over here. Et in unum dominum Jesum Christum filium de inugenitum. Why is it utum utum? Patre natum ante omnia saecula. Deum de Deo, lumen de lumine, deum verum de Deo ver. Genitum non factum consumsat. Can I just shoot him? I wanna shoot him. I wanna shoot him. We propter nos homines et propter nostram salutem descendentem de celis. Et incarnat. Ha! Hoo hoo! Finally, we're done with the game. I killed Rodrigo Borgia. I thought. I thought I was beyond this. You weren't beyond revenge. But I'm not. I've waited too long. Lost too much. Requiescat in pace, you bastard. I don't think so. What do you mean? What? <laughs> I thought I already stabbed him. No! Why did you... That's quite a powerful stab you have, Mr. Pope. Oh, no. Sucking the energy out of them. How is it you resist? I apple of Eden. Kind of you to bring me the apple. Now give it to me. Why? Why should I? <laughs> right? Why? Why did he not die? Oh, I thought I stabbed fight. him already. Just like your father. Well, rejoice, my child. Why are you oh, putting you it like that? Soon. You will give it to me. I won't. You wish. What? I went all one limb on him. Freaking hell! Nice! Different colored... Fascinating. Suits. An impressive power, this. But if you Ooh. think it's going to save you, you've another thing coming. Nice. Kill Rodrigo Borgia. Come on. Attack him. Come on, just... Beat the shit out of him. But useless. He's not getting damaged. Why? I can't counter. You cannot stop me. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go and smash you. Smash you into pieces. Hit you with all I got. Ooh. <laughs> I slipped. Sorry, there was a banana peel over there. Oh my god. There was a banana peel. We're all slipping. Right <laughs> what is happening? Come on. Ah, oh, this is taking so long. The, 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 the excitement is gone. Come on. I just want to kill him. You just need to combo hit him. These other guys are not helping. They're just standing there. Unfazed. You <laughs> you're not gonna cut me down. You're gonna... You're gonna... Stab me with that. That's not a freaking sword. That's not a freaking knife. That's a... That's a... Spear. A poking... A poking device. Oh, yes. A poking machine. You cannot stop me. I am stopping it. You're cornered. You're getting beat down. Oh. He countered me. He can't counter with this. I can't counter when I'm using the... Oh! Oh! I thought something happened. I How thought... How long do you think you can keep this up? Forever! I can keep this up forever. I can keep this up forever. Why is he so tanky? How much health do you have? Oh. No! You will not take this I will. From me. I will take it it's from you. It's finished, Rodrigo! <laughs> Lay down your arms! And I will make sure the end comes swiftly. Okay. And would you give up so easily what it the other No, I wouldn't, but. Ah! Nice! Wait, that's not nice! Why don't we find out? Another fight? Oh no! He's gone! He teleported! Oh wait, he's invisible! Oh no! Is this a time where a Templar is going to win? And now, to deal with you. No. 
No! Let go of me! What is this? And then I'm gonna go and resist it again, like Altair. Uh, oh. That's not good. That's not good. But Ezio is still alive. I'm floating. I'm a god. I'm the prophet. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ooh, he went down there. Maybe that, that, that thing was like a weird physics thing. That's why we were slipping down there. <laughs> freaking hell. I, I, I didn't know that there was a freaking secret chamber there. Okay, find the secret passage. It was so obvious. Interact. Gentle push. What? What's the secret passage? Oh. We have to press that. We don't we don't do the satin symbol. Okay. Oh, another one. There's two of them this time. Now we go down. Ha ha! Fascinate rude. You tell you told me that for the third time. The first time was when the Apple of Eden was delivered in Venice. Now uh, the next time was when he was doing the mass. And then now, this time, assassinate Rodrigo Borgia Open again? Damn you! Freaking Open. hell! How many times do I have to it's assassinate over, this guy? Rodrigo. Oh, this is the vault? No more tricks. No more ancient artifacts. No more weapons. Let us see what you are made of, old man. Oh, old like man. If that's Why is he glowing? <laughs> okay, we go fight. What do you even want with the vault, Rodrigo? Don't you know what kind of thing? Give me the nuts! It's freaking. Do you mean to tell me nuts. the great and yes. powerful assassins didn't figure it out? Figure what out? God. It's God that dwells. It's not God. Him. It's. I don't know. <laughs> I don't you even know what it is. You believe that God lives beneath the Vatican? Yeah. Why? Why would God be there? A location than a kingdom in a cloud, don't you think? Surrounded by singing angels and cherubim. Ah, oh, you think it is? I want to believe you. What do you think he'll do when you open that door? Yeah. What will he do? I don't care. It's not approval I'm after. Just power. You think he'll grant it? And you think he'll give yes. it up? <laughs> he'll give you power? Whatever lies beyond that wall won't be able to resist. God is meant to be all knowing, all, all power. Yeah. You think a couple there is a of God. relics can harm him? You know nothing, boy. You take your image of the creators. You are the Pope. And you dismiss <laughs> the central text of your faith. <laughs> Even he doesn't believe. What? Oh no, the the, the dialogue is gone. What happened? Unpause. Pause and unpause. I'm just beating him up now. Grab. What did you strike written over the past 10,000 years? Come on. Kill him. I don't have my hidden blade. Come on, old man. Fight me. Yes. Press. I'm pressing. Uh, yes. Ooh, his head went through the wall. What happened? I don't know what happened. You can't. You can't. It's my destiny. I am the prophet. Mine. It's not you. It's mine. I am the prophet. <laughs> no, you're not. You never. I was were. the prophet. Get it over with. Then. I will split the ocean. No. Split your head. Killing you won't bring my family back. <laughs> not my face. I'm done. I got three times a three Reale, mission. Tutto Nulla è reale, tutto è lecito. Nothing is true, everything is permitted. Uh, 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 what, what did he say again? Uh, non no è il tutto. Real something. Ooh. Ooh, the apple of Eden is doing its thing. No, it's the staff of Eden. Open the door! Why did it open just now? Did I need to beat up Pope? Uh, Pope Rodrigo Borgia. Oh, what is this? What is this? It's a lot of pillars and ancient carvings or high technology carvings. Prophet, 
It is good you have come. Let us see it. You look like the, an egg. Look like Vitas. <laughs> We must speak. Looking at me! Who are you? Many names. When I died, it was Minerva. Minerva? Minerva and Mera. And on and on. Mera. Mera. The others, too. Juno, who was before called Uni. Oh! Jupiter, who was before the called The statues Uni. that I collected? Statuettes, I mean. Small ones. <laughs> gods? No, not gods. We simply came before. Even when we walked the world, your kind struggled to understand our existence. We were more advanced in time. We like in Adam and Eve? Ready. The two Do people you? running? Not. Maybe never. Why are you looking at me? You may not comprehend us, but you will. Why is she looking at me? Why is she looking at me? You must. There's a thing floating in space. None of what you are saying makes sense. Our words are not meant for you. What are you talking about? There's no one Freaking else fourth wall breaking! What? Enough. I do not wish to speak with you, but through you. You are the prophet. Looking at me! You've played your part. She's looking at me! Anchor him, but please be silent that we may commune. What? Download Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. What? What did she say? When we were still flesh and our home still whole, your kind betrayed us. We who made you. We who gave you life. We were strong, but you were many, and both of us craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, Saturn? the world burned until naught remained but ash. It should okay. have ended then and there. But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so we did. Few were our numbers. Your kind and mine. It took sacrifice. Strength. Compassion, but we rebuilt, and as life returned to the world, we endeavored to ensure this tragedy would not be repeated. Okay. But now we are dying, and time will work against us. Truth turned into myth and legend. What we built, misunderstood. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. But let my words also bring hope. You must find the other temples, built by those who knew to turn away from war. They worked to protect us, to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. I don't know what's be happening. Quick, for time grows short, and guard against the cross, for there are many who will stand in your way. What is this? It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. All of us. We can do no more. The rest is up to Desmond. You. Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please wait. I have so many questions. She was talking to Desmond. So, like us, the players. Maybe. No, it's Desmond. What the fuck? Desmond? Says it's good to management. What? <laughs> that end was weird. I mean, <laughs> Assassin's Creed 1's ending was also weird. Uh, we, we, that's the first time we got uh, like introduced to the assass the pieces of Eden, and that was weird. And like that that thing was new to us, and now we know what the 
No, we don't know. There's only about ten minutes until I get. Need all of my equipment ready to go oh, before they wait. Do. Desmond. I'm out of the yeah. animus. Yeah. All right, I was Sean, about to so talk about the game. Get everything in here packed up and loaded into the truck. You and I will deal with the Templars. What? They're here? It was only a matter of time before they discovered us. To be honest, I'm surprised it took them as long as it did. Let's go. Where's that? <laughs> Hidden blade. Hidden gun. Blade. Gun. Blade. Gun blade. Which is it? Oh, let's so, go. What's the plan? We're about we to tussle. This place and then what? There's another safe house. It's oh, another safe house. Yeah, we got company. The truck's just up ahead. Oh, 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 oh. Desmond, what are you doing? Okay. Mr. Miles, this is it's an you, Vedic. Pleasant turn of events. And here I thought I'd have to waste more men on you. Kind of you to save me the trouble. What do you want, Vidic? For you to come home. We miss you terribly. There's still so much work for us to do together. It's not happening, Warren. Warren, you Vidic. You continue to disappoint in every conceivable way, Miss Stillman. I what? saved your life once. He's here. Do you remember? And this... Is how you repay me? You saved me so you could keep experimenting <laughs> on people, destroying their lives. And for what? Oh, this tired argument again. I missed his voice from Assassin's you Creed 1. There, at my side, every step of the way, their blood is on your hands just as much as mine. You need to stop him. <laughs> Shut him up. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? Come on, fight me! Nice! Oh, Desmond! Doing things you, you're not supposed to be doing! You're killing the guards! Nice! Nice! Another one! Come on! Wait, where's... I, am, I need to stop... The, the Vedic, right? Just, just give me Vedic. Why can I not get Vedic? He's already right there. Just pull his feet. Come on. What were you thinking this time? Uh -huh. You can't hide from us. Nice. We're all dead. Wait. You're still fighting? Come on, Miss Stillman. Come on, Lucy Stillman. You're still still there. <laughs> You're still there. <laughs> Come on, jump. I can't kill him. Well, well. It seems... Uh-oh, Doc. Looks like it's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Desmond, we have to go! Are we ever gonna win against Templars? There you are. Come on. Help Lucy into the van. Hurry, Desmond. We need to go. You'll have your turn, Desmond. Warren's gonna get what he deserves. I promise. So what now? Where are we headed? There's a cabin up north. Okay. Should be safe there. At least for a little while. I have to analyze those tapes from your session. Figure out what's the happening. The background music. And then what? Here we go. I've got you all hooked up. Got a long drive ahead of us. Figured you might want to play around with the Animus on the way. Alright, but I got some questions first. I mean, what the hell was that in the vault? What you saw proves everything I was afraid of. The Templars aren't our biggest threat. Not by a long shot. So what, the sun is? What's it gonna do, cook the earth? Oh! I doubt it, but I don't know. There's been some speculation that the earth's magnetic field is weakening. A sufficiently strong flare could flip the poles and cause a geomagnetic reversal. It's all theoretical, but if it happens, the planet could become geologically unstable. Very unstable. It's meant to be the stuff of pseudoscience, but clearly something catastrophic happened to the people of the first civilization. And that woman, was her name Minerva, was it? She seemed to think we were due for a second round. So either way, we're fucked. I don't know yet. We'll keep reviewing the tapes, and you can keep digging through your memories. Maybe there's more to discover. All right. Guess I'd better get started.
Is it done? Is the game done? Finally? Oh, I like this music. So, as I, as I was saying, like in the, in the Assassin's Creed 1, the ending was also kind of weird because we got introduced to a whole different freaking thing. Uh, like a, a piece of Eden, like a magical thing. And now we finally got to see what it's about. Like, what what it brings, or what it was, or who created it. It's them, Minerva, whoever her friends are. Minerva and friends. Yes, Giovanni is the name of uh, Italian testers localization. Yes, <laughs> uh, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this game. It's a lot different from the first one. The first one, I feel like all the missions there are like repetitive. Like you, you just have the same uh, mission structure the whole time. Like you go there, uh, Al Molim says something to you, and then you go back to the place and you talk to the to the Rafik there. Yes, Rafik is the title of the person who's waiting on the assassin bureau. Uh, so you talk to the Rafik there, and then you're gonna go and do six missions or wh whatever, however many you want to do. You can do like three of them, I think, three or four, something like that. You can just finish half of it and then you go the mission and then that's it for all the other missions it's just different a little bit by like how you fight them or how you assassinate them but this one is completely different like there's no there's no same patterns maybe <laughs> I'm not sure but there's like not not just one pattern in all of them it's like all different and also the last thing <laughs> the last uh, uh, the, the last mission and the last sequence, uh, sequence 13, where I like assassinated nine of them. I feel like that was like a, a, a parallel to Assassin's Creed 1. You can't see my face that clear because I'm an assassin. And also, yes, I like that there's, a, there's more characters in this game. Like there's more assassins, there's more uh, like significant characters that are not even assassins. Oh, I like the story in this. It's a lot different from, from Assassin's Creed 1. I feel like Assassin's Creed 1 was just a tutorial. I don't know. Also, the parkour. Yes, what do I talk about first? Yes, I've talked about the story. It's a lot longer than the first one. And there's a lot longer... As, there's a lot more things that uh, Ezio did. So, what what happened? <laughs> I was gonna re review what happened. So, first thing fir first things first. We were born and then we, we, we just... Went out of the freaking uh, Abstergo building. Then we see Ezio bonding with his brother. <laughs> and then they said, It's a good life we lead, brother. May it never change. May it never change us. And then what happened? Giovanni, Federico, and Petruccio, all three of them, got hanged. They're dead. And now all we have is Claudia and Maria and uh, Uncle and every other people that just war working with us now. All the assassins. But her father was an assassin. I wonder if there's like a game for <laughs> for Giovanni. I don't know. Maybe no, because he's already dead. We all know he's already dead and it's the second game. And why are you gonna make a freaking dead uh, game for a dead character in your second game? But, anyways. Yes, yeah, so the, the the next thing is the game. The game mechanics, parkour was a lot faster this time. Like climbing out of build up, climbing up buildings. Like he just went like that. Freaking, it's like climbing a ladder. But Altair had to go one by one. Like go up like that, then go, and then he's like that. Uh, and Ezio is a lot more faster in parkour now. Like I have all my tools already in parkour, like the grab ledge and all the other stuff. I don't, e I don't even remember like most of the things that I've gotten from Assassin's Creed 1 through missions. But yeah, it's like you're you're all the complete and also fighting. Fighting's different. There's a lot more weapons, a lot more things at our disposal like double hidden blades, like freaking double... Ah, that was that was good, that was good, I like that. Uh, I like that, L like you, you can just stretch your arm like that freaking two kills at once but... Outside has to do freaking. Uh, uh, he has to go like that every time. But I think he's the one who in invented it, right? Because he's the one who made the, the the codex pages. That means he probably used double hidden blades in the future. Maybe I don't know. But uh, yeah. <laughs> and also, we got a gun. That's the best part of the fights. I mean, I didn't get to use it that much because I I always keep forgetting about it and 
my hidden blades were just better. I used it in fight or out of fight. I used it to assassinate, I used it to counter, and I, I don't know. It's just a lot better because I can like guard with it now, like I can guard with my hidden blade. Yeah, that's also cool. And like there's like more things. I don't know why they like added medicine. Because in Assassin's Creed 1, there was no medicine. Uh, I heard like people talking about it like they, they, it means like Ezio uh, got injured like uh, in the real story and Altair never got injured like you know <laughs> I don't know if that's true maybe it's maybe it isn't maybe it is but there's like a new things now I there, there's new things now uh, the medicine the poison blade the hidden gun the, the smoke what else what else was there Nothing else, yes. <laughs> it's just those. But it's still cool. We've got, we've got a lot more things. And also, we can fly. There's there's a flying machine in this game. That's also new. We can also, like, drive a wag wagon. But that's, that's not, like... That's not really, like, a repeatable thing. I don't know. Maybe. But... Other things. Uh, it's the, the, the assassin contracts. The beat up events and the races, I didn't really do them that much. I mean, I just did one assassination contract. Yes, <laughs> that's all I did. And. Ooh, wait, they got pictures from NASA? <laughs> that's nice. Uh, so I didn't really get to do them that much, but I think they're much better than, like, you know, save citizens that you don't get any. Uh, and also, I remembered <laughs> the weapons. There's a lot more weapons to get there. And we, we can also get Altair's weapon, like Alt, Sword of Altair, but there's a lot more different weapons. It's like a whole RPG game now. We can upgrade our weapons, we can upgrade our armor, we can get more pouches for more hidden blades. I mean throwing blades and more things for poison medicine. Oh, where are we now? Home screen? Action completed, okay. What's gonna happen now? Yes, I was talking. Yeah, there's a lot more things. And also, there's a lot more, like, you can customize your, your thing. You can customize your, your whole, whole character. Like, I mean, it's not really that complex, the, com the customization. It's just a bunch of dice and clothes and this cape. Yeah, that's cool. And also, you can buy, like, things like paintings, like, maps for treasures. There's a lot more stuff here. There's a lot more open world things to be done like you can just play this much longer than you would in Assassin's Creed 1 because Assassin's Creed 1 was was just like you, you can have you can complete the game very quickly like there's just too few save citizens like you know those kinds of things and opening viewpoints here there's like feathers there's glyphs there's freaking statuettes there's what else what else is there? I feel like there's more that I'm missing. Yeah, you need to complete all the weapons. And... Yeah, you, you can also do all the assassin contracts, all those other side stuff. Yeah, and... and I really like that, that there's more things to do here. And also the money system. <laughs> you can buy things now. In Assassin's Creed 1, you, you, you have no money. And also, I like that the fact that you can like throw money for to distract people or to... to to make people go away from you, especially those freaking musicians like uh, There's a man in the freaking roof Killing people, saving innocents, something like that <laughs> I don't know what they're singing, but it's something like that You can go send them away with freaking money Here's 10 freaking floors, 10 floors everywhere <laughs> And that was fun And no, also the Apple of Eden, there's a lot more pieces of Eden here now There's the Staff of Eden, the Sword of Eden, the Cloth so, uh, I don't know uh, there's a lot more story in the glyph. Uh, you can all, you can probably replay that if you I don't know maybe I haven't really like checked. There's a lot more places to go, a uh, lot bigger places and different cities. I mean that's that's a, that's a thing in Assassin's Creed One, but there's no fast travel. I mean there was, but it's like in checkpoints. Here you can fast travel whenever you want, and. Yeah, you can also swim now. <laughs> I remember. You can also swim now and you can also drive boats. Yes. And also, yeah, codex pages, I remember. You can also collect the codex pages, you know, open the banks, get more money. And it's just a lot more, like, better now. 
a lot more guards though. A lot more guards, definitely. Like one building has four guards. Before, there was no buildings, but there's just like few guards that you need to fight. You know, there, but there, there were less guards, uh, I think. In Assassin's Creed 1, there were less guards that were patrolling. Some were just one. But here, they're always in groups of four or three. And yeah, a lot more cool stuff. And I really like the game. I'm really excited to play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I wonder where this goes. And I haven't killed Rodrigo Borgia. Wait, is Rodrigo Borgia the one in Brotherhood? Because I remember in the trailer, there was like a guy in the freaking wagon, whatever that. What, what was that called? I don't know, but that like the horse pulled wagon where like there's a guy behind like doing freaking holding a staff. Was that was that Rodrigo Borgia? Wait, so so the other guy was his right hand man probably, because they were the same thing. Or maybe it's his son. I don't know, but he was like freaking do, going like that. Hey, hello, people! I'm the Pope. That was Rodrigo Borgia. It doesn't look like him. Freaking hell! He looks more innocent there. He looks more. <laughs> he looks more innocent, like someone we wouldn't touch with our hidden blades. But he's definitely someone we we should touch with our hidden blades. I don't know why Ezio forgave him. I don't know why Ezio didn't kill him. Maybe Ezio wanted the story to go on. <laughs> but anyways, that is it for Assassin's Creed 2. A great game. A very enjoyable game. I really like this game. I want to play more of it, but I'm just going to go into it then off camera. I'm not going to go do another episode of this because I, I've had enough episodes, enough edits. I don't think anyone would enjoy more. From me especially, <laughs> I'm not really a great guy for uh, commentating on just the random open world stuff. Uh, I'm more in like reactive uh, commentation, commentary. Like I react to story, I react to to what's happening in front of me, or like what's what's going to happen, or like what those those kind of things. Like in the story, not like oh hey here's a chair, I I want to go and slash it. Hey oh we go here, freaking. Stab all these people. And I can't even do that here. <laughs> so I feel like I won't have as much fun playing Assassin's Creed in open world only. Uh, as if I did like, you know, GTA or like, you know, Minecraft freaking whole open world sandbox game <laughs> like that. I, I'd probably rather play those than like Assassin's Creed. But, but I really like Assassin's Creed. I really like the story. Uh, and yeah. So that's it for Assassin's Creed. Great game, I, I'm definitely going to play Brotherhood soon and Revelations, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you like the video, smash the thumbs up button as hard as you can. Leave a comment down below on what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Electrify. Electrify with you.